The aim of the Organisational Behaviour Unit is to provide students with a strong foundational understanding of the way in which worker behaviour can be managed in order to achieve key organisational outcomes. And it does this by focusing on three levels of analysis. Behaviour that can be attributed to the individual worker, behaviours associated with groups of workers, and behaviours at the system or organisational level. At the individual level of analysis, we look at topics such as attitudes, perceptions and motivations. And we consider why there can be such great variation among different members of an organisation. This provides a basis for our subsequent study of group level behaviours, such as teamwork, conflict management and negotiation. And finally, at the systems level, we turn our attention to topics such as organisational structure, culture and change. Managing behaviour in the workplace is challenging. It's often complex, elusive and unique. It really does require great skill. Unfortunately, most managers receive no organisational behaviour training. They don't know how to effectively motivate others, how to deal with conflict within their teams or how to manage change. The OB unit does just that. Students can take what they study in this unit and immediately apply it to their current workplace. The OB unit is for anyone who is looking to develop their career. Contributing to the success of other employees, success that results in key organisational outcomes, is, I think, one of the most effective ways for students to advance their career. What makes the Organisational Behaviour Unit interesting, I think, is the broad range of concepts that are covered. Students are not asked to be an expert in each and every one of them, but they will have the opportunity to give more specific attention to those that they have a particular interest in.